What do you think of textured pens, and what are your favorites? Textured pens, so they um, they can be kind of polarizing. You know, most pens are are made to be smooth because I think uh, that's the safe way to go for sure. Plus, it's just it's easier to put a finish on those. Any kind of texture, or any kind of uh, you know thing like that that you go on, it's uh, it's a little riskier. So uh, I think uh, I think most pens pen ten, most pens tend to lean a little smooth, but uh, I think the way that the pens feel is definitely a big deal. There's uh, a lot of sensitivity that you have in your fingertips, so um, it's actually surprising how much you can um, you can sense just by touch. Um, so um, you know most pens are smooth. I think when you get into pens that are basically not smooth, you kind of get into what I view as like kind of two different categories. You have textured ones, like hardcore textured ones, and you have ones that are kind of like a matte finish, right? So some matte finish ones, for example, would be like an All Star, right? It doesn't feel quite as smooth as I'm trying to think of a smooth pen that I have here. All the pens I have are not smooth. Um, you know, okay. So I've got an Aurora. Optima here, like very polished, very smooth, just very slick. Um, the All Star is not the same way. It's smooth. This, this is not textured, but it has a matte finish to it, and it definitely feels different. A lot of, a lot more pens kind of fall into that category, I think, into the, kind of that matte category. You know, the Palette Metropolitan. It's got that anodized finish. That's a little matte. Um, you know, ones that, uh, you know, okay, the the. Uh, Pilot Vanishing Point in the matte black definitely has that matte feel to it as opposed to some of the glossier Vanishing Points which feel really slick. So that's one distinction to make. I think those are generally speaking um, you know, pretty universally accepted. And there's even some divisiveness there, whether people like you know the All-Star versus the Safari and stuff like that. And you get into some of that with the finish. Um, and then you get into some things that kind of in a gray area, I feel, where I don't know if you'd consider it textured or whether it's just kind of the, the nature of the finish. Something like the Lamy 2000, it's got like a brushed finish, so it has kind of a matte look, but it definitely has a bit of feel to it. Um, could fall into that category, and then you get into things like the types of material that can make a difference, like if you get into ebonite. Was that textured? Well, it's definitely got a different feel to it. You know, it's basically rubber. So it's got a different feel to it, or you get into a Visconti Homo sapiens, that is, and um, kind of falls in the same category as ebonite. Um, where it's made of volcanic rock and um, has a bit of grab to it. So again, not 100% not textured. I love all these pens. Um, but when it comes to actual textured pens, so this is where ones where it is just straight up not smooth. Like it's there is something there to disrupt the feel of what's happening on the pen. Um, so that, I have the, uh, the Conklin Herringbone would fit into that category. That's a new one that I just mentioned. Um, that definitely fits into that group. And I'll kind of show you, I'll zoom in a little bit and show you, uh, not all the way, but I'll just show you exactly the texture I'm talking about here. So you get a little bit better idea. So you can see there, there's definitely a texture. And I can feel it on my fingertip. You know, it'll, it'll maybe even make a little noise as you're rubbing your finger back and forth. And some people really like it. You know, me personally, with textured pens, I tend to kind of handle them more. Um, just because I like I like to feel that texture a little bit. That can definitely be the case. Um, some other pens that I have, uh, this is another recent one that I told you I'd bring up again. Um, but the Faber-Castell Red Ink. Now this one, the texture may bother you because it's not as consistent. It's got that fingerprint on it. Um, but it is a raised texture, so you definitely feel that as you're grabbing the pen. Uh, another good one, and this one is literally designed for the texture. This is the Tactile Turn Gist. They even lean into the name Tactile. And it is made because it is um, it has a spiral cut all the way up the pen, um, which means that it kind of feels like that. You can even hear that a little bit in the audio probably. Um, but uh, it's definitely got kind of that, like when you rub your fingers along a zipper kind of thing, it's got kind of that feel. This one really wigs people out. My wife hates the feel of this pen. I don't mind it at all. It's just kind of my thing. So um, it's getting a nice patina on it too. This is a copper one. So yeah, it's, I like. I don't like to polish my copper stuff. I like to let it age naturally. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, definitely tactile turn fits into that group. Um, hit or miss as to whether or not people actually like it or not. Um, the Faber-Castell Emotion. So this one's kind of interesting because it's got some design elements to it, like around the center band here. It's got some kind of notches cut out of it there. The grip itself is smooth, but then the body has kind of this uh, crosshatch pattern going on to it. Um, other pens, you know, Faber-Castell has got a guilloche pen that's going to be coming out. Um, they, uh, you know, have other ones like their op art and things like that that uh, have a bit of texture to the body as well. 
you know, if it's just on the body and it's not on the grip, it probably doesn't matter as much. I don't think that really bothers as, as many people, but uh, for sure, if you want to feel that texture, you can on that one. Um, another one is a, I have is the Pilot Justice 95. I didn't grab that one, I forgot, but um, that one is a, is a nice one too. A um, couple different patterns. They make it in a barley pattern as well as a kind of a stripe pattern. We only have the stripe one, not the barley, but um, that's another one. And then um, I could probably have Sterling here. That is a little more expensive pen, so maybe not as commonly known about, but uh, for sure it's engraved in here. And the engraving has uh, some of that texture to it too. I probably just wanted to show this off a little bit. Um, and the last one I had is actually, I could not find my Twisby Mini, um, but, <coughs> excuse me, but a Twisby Mini or a 580. Is worth mentioning too the body of that pen that part of the the diamond uh, part of that name is where uh, the texture part really kind of comes into play uh, and that one has a bit of texture to it too so i personally like them i do not find them to be bothersome at all but it is absolutely polarizing and i 100 percent understand why that is a factor for some folks so i would definitely you know if you have experienced any of these pens for yourself um, you would know and if you have a pen meetup group or anything like that or if you know anybody that has any types of pens just try them out. Or if you know that you're particularly bothered by texture, then maybe steer away from these because it's definitely something that's going to bug you over time if it's something that bothers you at all. Um, but it's a really important thing, the way that the pen feels in your hand. And uh, that's one of the major disadvantages of being an online retailer is that I can't let you hold the pen before you buy it. So, um, but it is the kind of thing I think it's worth just kind of noting that um, if you do buy a pen from Goulet Pens and you get it in your hand and you feel it and you're like, I just can't, this is just not for me. And you send it back, you haven't inked it up, you haven't used it or anything like that, we'll give you a full refund on it and you can exchange it out for something else. Um, if you ink it up and use it for a while, well, then we gotta talk. But um, if you're just, you know, this tactile thing, that's something that you can very much get a feel for um, without actually, you know, inking up and writing with it. So uh, just keep that in mind.